this this lovely sample blanket would have been taken to shows if you look at the different sections of pattern a buyer would have looked and and chosen a b or c let's say and here you would have um the blackberry stitch which can only cr be created by hand this is always a sign of handwork the machines can do everything and 10 times more um and I love to design for machine as well. But the blackberry stitch is always an immediate sign of handmade work. Um, so, for instance, if we look at it, you can see that this is sweater, is this one. So you have the honeycomb, you have the Irish moss side, the small twist or the ropes that always represent the the ropes of the, the, the work of the fishermen and, and the ropes and the fishing. The honeycomb, like the, the honeybee, hard work brings just reward. It's hard work making it as well, in fact, the honeycomb. <laughs> the blackberry, three and one or one and three, the sign of a God-given life or a good harvest. I like that it's a good harvest. It really looks like a blackberry and like a rich man for, as we'd say. The Trinity stitch, and you, you, you have different names uh, for stitches because regionally things evolved with their own name. The Trinity stitch, because you make one, one, one stitch out of three and you make three stitches into one. And that is the process all continually, one and three, three and one. So it's seen as the Holy Trinity. The diamond for prosperity or the moss filled fields of Ireland. And then in our end design, traditionally, it was always a reflection, symmetrical. Um, I really believe that all of the work was visual. There were no notes or patterns originally. And it was based on the liking of the knitter and the mathematics of it. For instance, for a big husband or son, um, maybe three diamonds would have been put in or th there would have been a balance. And also uh, personal preference. And then given that someone was maybe knitting quite a lot, it can be difficult to get away from the stitches you like. So if you like doing the blackberry or the diamond. And so patterns would have been associated with people in that Maybe you saw a young fellow at mass and you'd think, well, he's Maggie Burke's son because you'd have a recognition. People would have been very visually aware of the patterns on the iron. And I believe it would have been frowned upon to have copied your neighbor's pattern. And I mean, that's just uh, an IP issue. It's an IP issue to this day. I frown at certain things I see around the place and I know where they started off, you know? 